Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new video. So I actually already did a video about how to find a job, like a part-time one uh, for working on the days, but today I will talk a little more about how to find a job, a full-time one in Korea. After, of course, it will depend on your field. So I'm just going to give uh, from my own experience in marketing. And there may be other platforms that you can use specific to your fields, but that I didn't mention. So it's not like all uh, the only way you can find a job in Korea, but I um, wanted to give some uh, advices and ideas on how to find based on my own experience. So I'm going to talk a little more about how I was able to find marketing job in Korea. So just like I mentioned uh, previously, my first marketing job was in, during my working on a day and I was actually able to find it through a Craigslist. Um, so I actually post like uh, a post saying that I was searching a part-time job in Korea because I was doing working on a day and that I actually intended to keep working in Korea and that I wanted to build uh, experiences in this field, in my field. But you should be a little prepared with Craigslist because um, Sometimes you can receive really weird uh, emails, so don't be surprised if you receive really weird one. So after that, I actually used LinkedIn. So I was searching more specifically for job offers I was, that were searching for English speakers. Since my Korean wasn't good uh, enough to pretend to have like um, other job offers that would require more high-level Korean. So after I improved a little my Korean, I started to wander on Korean website where you can uh, like look at job offers that were posted. And since um, it is actually easier to justify to hire someone that can speak English, uh, I still like targeted this kind of job offers like for global market instead of just for Korea. And uh, the Korean website that I mainly use, there is a, uh, a lot of other and uh, I don't remember the name, but the one that I actually use the past two years is Saramin. Uh, it's everything in Korean. You can find actually some job offer in English, so that's fine. But all the website, you have to know what you do. Uh, you have to search a word and everything because there is no translation for this website but you have quite interested uh, job offers on it and it's quite, I think, uh, diversified. And a lot of fields are actually posting job offers on this website. So before searching a job, like a full-time one in Korea, I will recommend you to write down your skills, um, jobs that you would like to do and uh, which one will actually be easier to justify uh, to in Korea if you of course need a sponsorship for your visa. So uh, I'm talking about writing down your skills because it's always good to uh, display what kind of like software you can use, what kind of strategy you did, how you did it, what you use. So to kind of show off what you can do because like more you are, um, how to say, you have different kind uh, set of skills, the better it is. And I will also recommend having a high level of um, in Korean if you intend to work in Korean company and where you are the only um, foreigners because it can be really tough if you can speak Korean with them. So this is also to make it easier for you to communicate at work and be sure that everything is um, how to say shared and you understand everything and there is no misunderstanding between you and your superiors and your colleagues. Specifically when uh, your colleagues and superiors can speak English that much so you have to make the extra effort of course because you came to Korea to work so you have to do it. But also you will have uh, way more uh, opportunities uh, work-wise if you can speak Korean. So it will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, see you next week for a new video. And bye!